What's the outlook for the whole market after the big losses of recent months? Um, if you look at the Lloyds numbers, the, uh, the big losses in the first quarter um, have driven that 2011 account probably to a loss ratio of around 130-140%. Uh, that's clearly not going to be sustainable. Capital providers are going to be asking questions. Uh, so it's fair to say that if you look at those losses that have occurred, they are all on top quality first world ship owners who insure with top quality markets such as Lloyd's and hence we are hit harder than, than most. So the outlook is that the London market is hardening in places. Uh, certainly reductions are not, uh, not the norm anymore uh, and we're seeing rises on clean business but that is because you know our relationships are strong and people are looking to insure with strong insurers and are happy to pay for that. Not everyone uh, but certainly quite a few of our customers have. Is there a problem for underwriters in terms of ship owner and broker expectations? Well, we've had a soft market for a very long time now, and the last true hard market was probably in the mid-90s. Um, obviously, uh, there's been an internationalization of hull underwriting um, and a lot more capacity. So we've got more people chasing more ships. Um, this has meant that you know pricing inevitably comes under pressure, and brokers are... Um, putting shares in very strange markets and it, in a way there's a there's a bit of a flight to mediocrity so you're seeing all manner of strange insurers who have unproven payment records appearing on broker slips um, and really in difficult times such as these uh, that's a move that only the brave would make. How does this overcapacity and the internationalization you speak of affect you as a Lloyd's underwriter? Well, it means that Lloyd's uh, orders are certainly under pressure and we're seeing reduced orders to London. Um, I don't think long term it will affect us. Uh, London market is still the, the largest market. Um, so I think that there will be an adjustment process. I think the fate of the euro will determine an awful lot of things. Uh, if you look at the sovereign debt exposure to the peripheral countries that many of the big European groups have got, um, then I think you'll see ship owners suddenly run for the hills and go for the name that they trust. And 300 years of paying valid claims counts for an awful lot when times are difficult.